Dear friends, I welcome you to our ULM English channel. I'm Juliana Apostol, psychologist, translator and volunteer. We have finally come to the final part 6 of the big interview with Bante Schwelink from Bodgai. Thanks to this little research, I was able to better understand the serious contradictions of Buddhism and understand that in Buddhism there are no proper solutions to the serious social problems they face in modern humanity. Although there are some good practical and useful methods, for example, for some psychological problems, as well as meditation techniques for researching work. I hope our comments were helpful to you too. We are very grateful to Bante for this interview. Despite the fact uh, that we disagree with him for many things, that conversation was very interesting and useful. It took me time to analyze and understand better. During the conversation, as you probably noticed, I listened more than discussed, only occasionally asked questions. Therefore, I am discussing now, in absentia, recording these videos. But perhaps we will have a chance for a new meeting with him and a more detailed discussion. And now listen the last six part, after which I will give our comments. What little planning need, or planning. like simple it's, necessary you see, thinking? The planning you have to do planning with your good mind. If mm. you mindless, if our mind is wrong, our planning will be wrong. If you have a positive mind, your plan will be very positive. Mm -hmm. And the outcome will be more good, more result, outcome, mm -hmm. you know. If mostly, mostly, it may be not that much, but if you do, you have a confidence. When does mm -hmm. the confidence come? You have to have your confidence. If you do something with full of confidence, you have sure that it is coming mm -hmm. sure. When the sure comes? When? What time? What moment? Here? Now? Mm. When you think about, I am sure. I am sure. I am sure means now. Mm. I am confident. Why I am confident? I am confident now. It may happen sometime later, mm. but when I am confident, I am confident always, it mm. is always, it is now. Always it is now. It is so that is why everything always now. It is mm -hmm. now and now. It's not never. Mm -hmm. It's not late. You know, it's now. Everything, whatever you if we take food, we take food now. If we are taking food without any attention, mm -hmm. it food goes somewhere. You know? Yeah, like you know, feeling. Just just putting, you know. <laughs> Just putting like that, here. So people's life has become so much restless now. They're talking in the mobile and checking food, you know. They're talking so many other things, checking food. People's life become like a machine, mm. like a machine. Can't fully enjoy. Cannot live, you know. Mm. Living is now, you have to be here. Mm. You're thinking about planning tomorrow, mm. you know. You plan. People are talking now. People are living here. Tomorrow maybe you are going to home, maybe we die. This is happening to the people. They have so many things mm -hmm. planning in their life. All the plans go to dustbin or go to graveyard. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow all the dreams go to graveyard. So Buddha is telling, Buddha means the awakening. Buddha is not the name of a person. Buddha means awaken. Awaken, aware. Awaken, mm -hmm. aware, full mm -hmm. aware, it is aware now. So mm -hmm. that is why once people awaken, he is trying to awake others. That is actually Buddha's doing. He is mm -hmm. trying, you mm -hmm. know, because when Buddha can see that, this person is uh, in, he should, we have to have sympathy, you know. So this is how the people are doing. The mm -hmm. Buddhas are normally doing, but some may be come to Buddha, some may be not come. This is the uh, this is the normal thing happening, mm -hmm. you know. 
So only few person can understand, or mostly cannot understand. Mm -hmm. So this is happening. So this is what when you, when you ask about the life and the this uh, purpose of life, mm. the meaning of life, it is uh, better to live now. My advice to the people, try to live the most mindfully, most awareness at this moment. With self-aim, ultimately sounds yeah, yeah, self-aim, yeah, create yeah. and live accordingly towards it. Yes, yeah, this mm. is the, you can have your aim, you can have your own aim, mm. like everyone, if they need that kind of a purpose, mm -hmm. if they need that kind of aim in their life, so they can have this kind of aim that uh, my life should be in this way, mm -hmm. you know. They can have, they need that kind of comfort. My life, I live in according to this way. Then gradually, gradually, mm -hmm. gradually, they will develop that. Mm -hmm. They will develop that. So one day, they can come to certain understanding. Mm -hmm. of that way of living, it's mm -hmm. a way of living. Otherwise, it's very difficult to survive in this world, you know. It is very difficult. You have to have very good uh, understanding, mm -hmm. you have to have very good confidence, mm -hmm. you know, you have to have uh, that kind of uh, challenges, everywhere challenges. Mm -hmm. The living is a challenge, it's not easy. Living mm -hmm. as a good human being is the most challenging. Living just like ordinary, you can mm -hmm. just go on with them. There is no special, nothing extraordinary. Mm -hmm. You can just eat, sleep and go just the how the other is going. Mm -hmm. go, that is how the world is going. You know, mm -hmm. but if you want to become the special person among this, mm -hmm. among this, su <coughs> suppose people, hundred people are there, all getting angry and hatred, but you want to become not angry. Mm -hmm. Suppose, for example, 99 people are getting angry, but you doesn't want to get angry. Mm -hmm. Then what you want to do? You want to be calm, you don't want to get angry, you want to be peaceful. So it is the difference, mm -hmm. but 99 people are going in the same way. So there is no difference among them. It's a normal for them. It's a very normal, very ordinary to them. But the other one, see mm. from the distance, it, it's not normal, you know. So I want to become something changed, mm. something different. I don't want to cultivate mm. hatred. I don't want to cultivate angry, you know, anger, etc. I want to be a change. If you want to be changed, you have mm. to look differently. Mm -hmm. You have to look differently. Otherwise people are going the same way. There is no difference. It looks way. like a difficult way if Very only one percent way. can in bad condition yes. can attain such. So that is mm -hmm. why people are mm -hmm. going the same way. So that is why people mm -hmm. doesn't have the enlightened people. This is the what we, the mm -hmm. people who speak. That is why the, you cannot find such people. Difficult, because it is challenging. Mm, very difficult. It's a challenging. Mm -hmm. It's a challenging. You, you cannot survive. If you want to survive with these people, mm. you have to go with them. Mm. If you want to do changing, these people leave you alone. Then you mm. become alone. This is actually happened to many people when they want to be honest person, mm -hmm. when they want to be a true, true person, other people leave him alone, leave him mm. or her alone, you know, or she is not uh, important. If you doesn't go to the clubs, night clubs, if you doesn't go to the parties, if you doesn't go to the enjoy all these peoples with them, mm. then of course you become outdated. You are not in the mm. right now living, you are not the modern, you know, mm. person. You see, you are already outdated. You know, if you go to, you have to take drinks, you have to take alcohol, you have to enjoy with them. Then people think, oh, he's a modern person, very practical. But <laughs> if you become away from them, it becomes outdated. So that is why these are helpless people. So they somehow, 
they cannot be socialized they have to be socialized hmm with them you know because that is the most difficult part it is very miserable this is very miserable if you want to be honest person hmm. we want to be you can be really social you, you cannot <laughs> Mm. what kind of realizing that you socialize that this is how the world whole entire world the disorder the society is going on a various way so that is why it's very important to uh, mm. have a, a very good teaching very good programs mm. time mm. to time to bring in a simple way in a simple language and talk to the young people that because they are the elders and uh, this kind of program is very mm. important you have to bring that kind of thing can people gradually change mm. people change for the better and but gradually with it's calm. slowly yeah it slowly. it takes time you you have to give more and more enriching lessons to them and more and more spiritual messages to them mm. and more programs about the living a positive life you know so answer in their many questions there's so many questions they have so mm. these things should be otherwise world go to the that kind of very negative side and it's unhealthy world it's unhealthy society so but it means if it's uh, we can't change uh, like principally in this world so only like few people get such kind of salvation only some percentage who like go out from all this drama whatever happening many many centuries again and again mm. it is because of you know it is just like a water suppose the rain comes mm-hmm. uh, how this rain water flows is always flows to the downwards rain water is blow to the flow mm-hmm. the downwards you know so it means this world has such tendency exact tendency mm-hmm. the tendency of the world mm. is negativity tendency of the world it, it, it is easy to people lie then they speak mm. the truth it is easy to become a dishonest no yeah. the difficult to become honest yeah if you have no purpose like what what for <laughs> become honest yeah. for suffering more so so. Is mm. so this is the tendency mm. of the world tendency so uh, that is why but not impossible not impossible but difficult changing is very difficult if belief if have this uh, like uh, aim ultimately this uh, and if uh, have motivation and wish for go out from such like bad place then somehow possible but possible. if it's not strong motivation that if many good things here you can enjoy by many ah, things exactly. why you go somewhere exactly, exactly. if it means whoever very suffered by all this world only then can some understand that something wrong here yes. like this yes few mm. can understand few only mm. few after understand. suffering after suffering and this is the kind of mm-hmm. disappointment disappointment mm-hmm. some mm-hmm. incident can happen or some people have that kind of uh, wisdom sometime mm-hmm. even not suffering even not suffering exactly uh-huh. if you have a uh, good intelligence just looking causes how yes, it happened looking the things like buddha in, in truly, did yes in truly mm-hmm. you see the things as it is mm-hmm. how it's going on mm-hmm. how condition is so suffering Mm-hmm. so painful so that intelligence can understand that no need to himself or herself mm-hmm. suffer no in that way yeah mm-hmm. but your wisdom your intelligence can understand like analyzing yes, uh, exactly. out of what exactly. is happening exactly exactly mm-hmm. there is that mm-hmm. it doesn't mean that you must suffer it is mm-hmm. all the things yeah it doesn't, it doesn't mean that So. Yeah so very great <laughs> thank you so much for thank you very much for your it, coming um, and discussion um, yeah such philosophical discussion very important also mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i wish this program bring good things to many people yeah they will try yeah. all our best your mm-hmm. mission 
be mm. successful. Because this mission is very helpful to many. Mm. Will be helpful to many. Mm. Yeah. If people, even uh, I meet the numbers of people, many people can listen, but even the one or two person change their life mm. is a great success. That is the success. Many people read, listen, but maybe they don't change. Mm. But even the few people change their mm. life. It's good. That is how we should uh, help to the people you know, as as much as possible. Yeah, but still, because we're doing some social work, we still have big hope that possible do something good for society also. Yeah, we have. We must do for the society. Mm -hmm. This life is very mm -hmm. short. And mm -hmm. this life is very uncertain mm -hmm. and uh, when we have to depart from this planet, yeah. it's a very uncertain. So we have very few days left mm -hmm. and uh, this is very uncertain. So that is why we must do for furtherance, for upliftment of the humanity. Mm -hmm. And that is, yeah, sure, sure. that is the importance. I think if there is a purpose of this human life, I mm. believe that we can do better for the mm. other humans to uplift their life mm -hmm. and help in as a whole to the to the planet, yeah, to all, to everything. Because for in our eyes, the nature, mm. the trees, plants, animals, mm. we all the part together. No, we are, no. Yes, we are in the same earth. We are sharing everything, mm -hmm. so we are one family, you know, like all together, mm -hmm. to sharing one each other. Mm -hmm. So this is what I think we have to share with the world. Yeah. On the one hand, I was glad that Bhante says, I wish you success in your mission, social activity. He also said that we should bring benefit to society, solve numerous social problems. And this is what can be called of aim of life. But on the other hand, it contradicted with his other ideas. Life has no aim. And Bante himself has no hope that in this world possible to create really good society for all. There is a lot of pessimism in the philosophy of Buddhism. And it effects to psychology and life of style the people who follow it. They believe that human nature itself is problematic. That is why um, a human society will be always too problematic too. And only 1% of good enlightened people, as Bante says, special, extraordinary, will get salvation, means will achieve nirvana. After that, this is the aim of Buddhist life, nirvana, not happiness in this life, not uh, good for society. They are sure that all happiness are not possible here. And if this is so, it turns out there is not so much a point to trying to transform this world. For example, no matter how you fight for justice, no matter how you try to improve society, your attempts ultimately can't success. But at the same time, they said we need to do good. Okay, we need to do good. Even though the world will never be perfect, it's kind of dead end or a kind of loop of prison for mind. I will explain why. If you are a compassionate, altruistic person, then you will feel suffering and compassion watching the suffering of other people and problems of society. And you want to do something for help. But what the Buddhism proposes you? This is such a world, a world of samsara, low world, and nothing can be changed here. And human nature also is bad. This attitude strongly blocks your development. Search for real solution, also for uh, some social activities. At most, you will become like Buddhist preachers. You will fight with your uh, and others' bad natures. 
and also gives lectures to others, teach them the commandments, donation, meditation about um, metta and karuna, love and compassion, etc. But uh, your suffering can end by this, or uh, other sufferings can end only by this. Not so much. Fighting with yourself and others increases anger, criticism and anger, or you feel guilt or sinfulness or despair and disappointment. This is like a um, very big danger or become passive or negatively active. Passive and indifferent because it likes like everything is bad inside and outside and nothing can be done in global sense. It's very painful for a really altruistic person to realize it. But a person wants to be happy and wealthy and this nature cannot be changed. He can struggle and try to stop desires for pleasure, but the nature cannot be cheated by any philosophy. This is impossible to suppress desires. Therefore, among the religious people, not only in Buddhism, sometimes we can find the double standards. They in public teach about stop desires, but in their life, openly or secretly, satisfies desires, and sometimes in very distorted ways. The sexual scandals of many gurus, financial fraud, unfortunately, um, often come to mass media. Well, some openly live very well, successfully and richly, collecting donations from their followers, I have seen many poor people who give the last money to their teachers for they can maintain their very good standard of living. Of course, there are also honest Buddhists who live modestly, follow to their religious ideals. For other people, they are like psychologists. They teach people to control mind, develop wisdom, to reduce suffering and bad circumstances. It's uh, very helpful to individual level, but not so much help in social level. And I also want to note that we do not think the world is going only in a negative direction. Of course, there are still problems and wars, there are also many positive things that were not in Buddha Shakyamuni time. For example, science, medicine, civilization are developing, uh, life time is increasing. The general standard of living people is rising. There are more countries is going uh, to democracy. People began to live uh, better than in ancient times. Buddhist seems to ignore it. In conclusion, I want to say that uh, myself practiced Buddhism many years and even was a nun. And now I see this way like dead end because of mistakes in philosophy. Although there is as many useful techniques uh, for psychological problems and for researching work um, as a meditation. Thank you for your attention. If you liked this video, please like and share with whom who might be interested. Subscribe if you have not already and write comments even if you don't agree with our conclusions. And you come to our discussion platform for open discussion and for explain your vision. So, thank you so much. See you soon.